What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful fella here, the Logitech C920S webcam. Uh, as you know in my videos, I've been doing a lot of live streaming so I decided to finally pick up a webcam. Got this thing a few weeks ago and I basically have some positive things to say. Um, so if you're trying to buy one of these things right now, it's really hard to get a hold of them unfortunately due to coronavirus. They're sold out everywhere on like Best Buy, Amazon, all those places. Um, but I actually managed to get one because I wrote a script to basically figure out when Best Buy gets stock in on this camera and it sends, sends me a phone notification. So I managed to buy one exactly when they came into stock. If you're interested in that, go check out my video. I'll put that down below. So anyways, in terms of this camera, um, it's got this uh, shutter, privacy shutter thing, I think they call it. Just basically when you're not using it, you put it up or down or put it down rather when you're not using it and put it up when you are using it. Um, supports 1080p, so 1080p is basically the, the, the most resolution you're gonna need for a webcam uh, at 30 FPS, so that means it'll look very smooth when uh, if you're moving around a lot with a camera. Um, what other features? So it's got this uh, clip section here thing, which you can use to, if you're sitting it down on your desk, that's, that's reasonable, you can do that. Uh, but you, how most people will probably use this is they'll hook it to their monitor, the top of their monitor. And for that, it's got this little clip thing here. And this clip just basically, uh, depending on the thickness of your monitor, like if it's, oh, what's the angle, if it's like, you know, this thick or that thick, maybe you have an older monitor or something, but uh, you can adjust this as you need. It's also got a pivot here. I don't know if you can tell, uh, maybe I'll do it this way. So th this thing kind of goes left and right so you can get the right angle you need. Um, it's got a 1.5 meter cord. So I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to show you how long it is, but pretty good length for most cases. Keep in mind, you're not gonna be able to walk around with this thing. Um, it's pretty short and I think it's designed not to be wireless, obviously to always be plugged in. So I managed to get this off of Best Buy, but uh, I'll put a link down below where you can pick one of these up if it's in stock. Uh, hopefully they get more stock uh, soon. One last thing, one last feature, it has this little uh, circular little guy here. And what this is basically used for is if you have a tripod like this, which I used for my, my cameras, uh, sorry, when I used for my phone, when I'm trying to set up my phone in a very specific way, uh, I have this tripod here that it can hook into. I'll also put a link to this thing down below, it's pretty useful. Um, and so basically this guy will, will can hook into here. And sorry, maybe you can see, there we go. So you can basically hook into here and then you can set this up on the tripod in any angle that you want, right? And this thing can also like hook around your monitor. You can put it on your shoulder. It can be like a parrot if you want. Anyways, um, so that's pretty much it for the features. Now I'm gonna show you how to set it up on a Windows 10 machine. Uh, keep in mind, this thing also works for Mac, uh, Linux, any, any basic um, operating system that you have. Uh, so we're gonna switch over to my desktop now. I'm just gonna plug this in right here and then I'll show you what happens next. So here we go. What is going on guys? Here we are on my desktop. Uh, so we need to install some software first that's needed to uh, basically drivers to get the webcam set up. Uh, so just go up to your uh, search bar here in Google Chrome or whatever and just type in Logitech uh, Capture. And you should be able to click the first link here. You can see it's from Logitech, Logitech Capture Recording Software. Click on that guy. And there should be a download uh, depending on your operating system here. So download this guy, install it all. Uh, it should install a program called Logitech Capture as you would think, uh, and then open that up. So I already did this, I installed it earlier. So uh, let me just show you what it looks like. So um, if I open that up now, and it may be an icon on your desktop, but um, if I open up the software, we should get the uh, view into what the interface looks like. So there we go, here I am, perfect. So that lined up. Um, so this is what the, the generic software looks like through Logitech. Keep in mind that you can also use, you know, any kind of recording software you want. If that's OBS, if that's something else, um, you can easily integrate that. This is just the default one um, in terms of setup. So uh, what do we have here? So we have a bunch of different options that are automatically enabled by default. So the one the, to make sure that you have on is autofocus. If you take this off, you can see it probably yeah, you can see my, my background is out of focus here. Um, so elements of the background. So uh, that's something important to be to be on at all times. And so is auto white balance. I find that you can play with this it depends on the light that you have in your room. Um, so if I turn it off, you can see like the different. Wow, that is looks completely wrong. Uh, I'm just going to leave that on auto since it seems to be doing a good job. Don't know what image settings does. Oh, this is like for hue, contrast, brightness, all that stuff. If you want more fine tuned control. So if you want to um, take a picture, you just click on take a picture. So let's take a picture. Cheese. So that picture just got saved. Uh, and where did it go? It probably went to the default directory somehow. So that, uh, where does that go? Do, do, do. 
probably right here, media files location. So if you click on the camera thing on the left uh, and you click open up this directory, I think it has, yeah, there's me doing stuff randomly at other times. Um, so that's kind of what uh, the setup looks like and how to use it using this guy. Uh, and if you want to record, you basically just click on this um, big uh, meatball looking thing here and then you can record videos and it'll go to that same directory. Obviously, I'm already recording a video, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so again, if you enjoyed this video, I'll put a link down to this webcam in the description section along with the tripod if you're interested in picking it up. It's going to be an affiliate link, so it'll support me if you buy it through that link. So I appreciate it if you do. And if you don't, no worries. Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like this kind of content, just like product review kind of content, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm trying out a whole bunch of different things to see what you guys like to watch. Uh, so please let me know down below. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.